What's up everybody, welcome back to Daily Psalm where every day we're going through one of the psalms. So here we are on day 10, Psalm 10. Why do you stand afar off, O Yahuwah? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In pride the wicked hotly pursue the afflicted. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. And the greedy man curses and spurns the Lord. The wicked, in the haughtiness of his countenance, does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high, out of his sight. As for all his adversaries, he snorts at them. He says to himself, I will not be moved. Throughout all generations, I will not be in adversity. His mouth is full of curses, deceit, and oppression. Under his tongue is mischief and wickedness. He sits in the lurking places of the villages. In the hiding places, he kills the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the unfortunate. He lurks in a hiding place as a lion in his lair. He lurks to catch the afflicted. And uh, Zechariah mentions the afflicted of the flock as being the foolish virgins. So this is referring to, I believe this is referring to uh, Maybe the the Antichrist or the uh, the Assyrian. I'm still in the process of working all that out. He lurks in a hiding place as a lion in his lair. He lurks to catch the afflicted. He catches the afflicted when he draws them into his net. He crouches. He bows down. And we're going to look more into that in a second. And the unfortunate fall by his mighty ones he says to himself God has forgotten he has hidden his face he will never see it so we see this here he crouches he bows down we see that in another place in Genesis 49 Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey my son you have gone up he couches he lies down as a lion, and as a lion, who dares to rouse him up? Because the Antichrist will be Jewish, I believe. Or he wouldn't be accepted. We also see Dan is a lion's whelp that leaps forth from Bashan. And Bashan. That's Edom, that's modern day America. And we see Genesis 49, back to Genesis 49, because that was uh, in Genesis, or De- Deuteronomy 33, the blessings of Moses. But back to the blessings of Jacob. Dan shall be a serpent in the way, a horned snake in the path, and that bites the horse's heels. So that his rider falls backwards. And we also see here in Jeremiah 4, 15. For a voice declares from Dan and proclaims wickedness from Mount Ephraim. And also here in Jeremiah 8, 16. From Dan is heard the snorting of his horses. And the sound of the neighing of, of his stallions. The whole land quakes. For they come to devour the land in its fullness. The city and its inhabitants. He crouches. He bows down. And the unfortunate fall by his mighty ones. He says to himself. God has forgotten. And he has hidden his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Yahuwah. 
O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the afflicted. And his hand, the hand of the Lord, is Yeshua, is, is Jesus. The Son is the hand. Do not forget the afflicted. Why has the wicked spurned God? He has said to himself, You will not require it. You have seen it. You have beheld mischief and vexation to take it into your hand. The unfortunate commits himself to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and the evildoer. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. And only, I believe the only other place we see broken arm is in regards to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, which is king of Babylon. Um, and I'll, I'll go more into that in another teaching. But that's the only other place you see break the arm of the wicked. But yeah, I'm still in the process of working all that out. Yahuwah is king forever and ever. Nations have perished from his land. Which happens at Gog Magog, but but when he comes back and his kingdom comes down, his kingdom's coming down. So all the nations have to cease to exist in his land. O Yahuwah, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to vindicate the orphan and the oppressed. So that man who is of the earth will no longer cause terror. And that just reminded me of... Uh, the beast coming up out of the earth, which causes terror. It causes the mark of the beast. But that's the end of day 10. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Shalom.